Hi everybody, it's Tom from FindTheBestCarPrice.com. Today I'm sitting in the interior of the 2023 Honda Ridgeline, and this is the black edition. So we're going to look at the infotainment screen and take a quick tour of that, and you might wonder, why does it have the red lighting? Well, that's part of the black edition package. So that's what you're going to have here. So you can see everything that you have here. There's your home right there. You can go back right here. And you can make some adjustments on the screen if you want to. If you don't like where a particular icon is located, well, you can drag it down and out of the way. Let's see if I can do that correctly. There we go. Now it will do that. Now here's the thing. Notice how the size of the screen changes. So what's going to happen is I can keep moving things around if I want to, but if you go to click on something, you're going to notice it doesn't do anything. That's because you need to hit the home button to bring things back to the normal size. And that means that you can then begin navigating your way around. Speaking of that, you have built in navigation with quite a few really nice features here. If you just want to view the map, well, there you go. But let's go back and let's take a look at where to as it's going to give you everything that you need. If you're out on the road and you need to get back home and you don't know the way necessarily, well, on a trip outside of town, well, there you go. That makes it very quick and very simple, very easy to deal with. And again, being out on the road, if you need service for your Honda Ridgeline or any Honda vehicle that has this feature built in, well, there you go. It's going to tell you where the closest Honda dealerships are, and then you can obviously click on that, and it's going to get you there with no problem. And then obviously everything else, pretty easy to figure out. We have places, gas stations, uh, restaurants. You can put in an address manually if you want to right there. Makes it very simple to do. And then we'll go back out here and we'll continue our tour. I don't have to tell you necessarily everything that's here. You can connect your phone if you want to right there. That's very easy to do. In fact, let's see here. I don't know if I can do this one-handed. might be kind of difficult to do, but let's try and do it anyway. So we're going to let that search for our phone, and you can see that it found the iPhone. So we're going to click right there on the iPhone. Um, let's see. It says phone. Yeah. There's the iPhone. So what we're going to do is go right here, and then we're going to pair. It just makes it so easy to do. Hit allow. Now keep in mind, I'm doing this with Apple CarPlay because, well, I have an iPhone. So the good thing about it, do you notice what I don't have? I don't have a USB cable. This is wireless. And so that's how easy it is to pair your phone. So we're going to go and just go ahead and go back. That's how easy that is to do in case you are curious and take a look at what else we have here. Uh, audio, don't have to really tell you much of what's there. Honda Home Link as well. We'll click on that and just see what comes up real quick for you. If it will come up, there it goes. And the good thing about that is that's going to give you a lot of information about your vehicle as far as what you need to do and when you need to do it. You can enable one time. You can always enable whatever the case is. We're going to cancel out of that because I don't want to set that up for uh, the sake of the fact that somebody else is going to wind up doing that in the future. So we'll go back home. But like I say, a lot of this is so simple, you probably don't need to see it anyway. But there is how you're going to use the built-in speakers that are in the bed on this particular edition. Yes, that is a feature on some of these trucks. So nice to have that. And you can actually hear it playing back there. I'm going to turn that off so we don't get a copyright hit. But there you go. Uh, it actually sounds really good from the outside. And then smartphone connection. You know what that is, I bet. Whoops, let's go back here. Let's hit the right thing just so you can see what's there. Now, we don't have a device connected now, but if you did, obviously information would come up right there. But here's something that's very helpful and deserves a little bit of time. You can go into settings and change anything you want to. A lot of different things here. Good information as far as changing the time on your clock, uh, phone settings, camera. Let's go in and look at that real quick. That way you can see if your rear traffic camera is on, cross traffic monitor, all of that. That's how you're going to deal with that kind of thing. Obviously, you have a lot of good safety features here, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, uh, information on the vehicle. These are going to be uh, some of the safety features and some of the other information that you might need to know about. So that's nice. If your wireless charger isn't working for some reason or another, it's likely going to be right there. You can make sure that it's enabled 
and all that good stuff. It's amazing what all you can go through here. So much that, well, it's really good to use what I call the hunt and peck method on these vehicles and just go ahead and search your way around. So you can see down here with these dots, it means we have multiple screens. So we keep going back. Obviously, it looks like everything is on one screen here. But the thing about it is, remember what I showed you earlier, if you wanted to drag some of these icons around to different screens that are available, well, you could do that. And before we end things, let me show you what your rear view camera looks like, the multi-view rear camera. We'll hit that and show you the different views, but ultimately, in short, without going into too much crazy detail, let's go back into park, we will give you that tour of the infotainment screen for the 2023 Honda Ridgeline. I know a lot of you would like to see some changes come for 2024. We don't know for sure if it's coming yet, but if it does, we'll definitely let you know about it. So make sure to subscribe to the findthebestcarprice.com YouTube channel, and we'll see you in the next video. To learn more about the model in today's video, visit the link in the description for a detailed comparison between trims and pricing for the vehicle we featured or any vehicle you may be interested in. These pages feature information such as our recommended trim level based on price, value, and features. Thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. We look forward to seeing you next time.